bike. There's a 1940 BSA, which is, stands for Birmingham Small Arms, built in England. It was this particular model was built for World War II, and it was a uh, dispatch rider's machine. So uh, that was the way they used to communicate: was send telegrams by motorcycle or horse. But this was quicker. My father-in-law bought the bike in 1950 and rode it as a cane cutter until 1969. He parked it in the shed and he wouldn't let me look at it. So I got hold of it 33 years after it had been parked up, restored it, and um, I've been riding it now for nearly 20 years in our historic motorcycle club. My wife's got a photo of herself sitting on the seat when she was four. It'll stay in the family forever. I wouldn't be game to sell it. <laughs> The engine itself was designed in 1929. 500 cc's, and uh, it's a side valve engine, the girder fork suspension. The bike's got a, a reasonable size fuel tank because uh, you know they wanted to get as far as they could get in the war. The comfort of the, of the bike is that uh, you've got a, a, a damper on the, um, on the front suspension. You can tighten it or loosen it off depending on how rough the road is. Suspension at the back is nil. <laughs> it relies on how many pounds per square inch you've got in the tyre. The comfort comes from the seat, the action of the seat and the springing in the seat. To start the bike, you um, prime the carburetor and it's got a, a manual advance and retard lever, which all modern stuff is all automatic. But and uh, pull a, another lever which lifts the valves up and uh, give it one decent hit and uh, she'll fire up then you give it a little bit of advance on the, on the spark and away it'll go run as sweet as a nut. 